Alright guys, so last year back with Baseball Express and today you're going to be reviewing the brand new 2023 uh, Warstick Warhawk 3. Um, this is the third version of their Warhawk, so this is their 2023 version. I think it's the last release they're going to have of the year going into the 2023 season. They've had the 2023 reinvented um, Bone Saber, the 2023 Warstick Bone Saber Hybrid, which is the Bone Saber it's hybrid, so it's composite and alloy. And now they have this one, the Warstick Warhawk 3. I'm super excited, it's going to be an all alloy bat here today, nothing too crazy. Um, the Warhawk 2 was really solid, so I'm pretty excited to see how this one performs. Today we're going to be swinging in LA on our hit tracks here in San Antonio, so let's see how it performs. One more button. We'll lay one more down. Yeah. Hit that 20 miles an hour. I do that 20. do that, what? 30. It's gas, bro. 84. Dang. I got 300. 81. I capped the s*** out of that. Damn! I don't know how far that was gonna go. I wonder how that new one works, dude. Seven. Yeah. That one, that's 320, and that was an 85. 89, dude. 86. That's 327. Woo! 333. That's way gone. <laughs> 362. See, that one fell. 89.5. And that was gone. 353. 2.6. Alright guys, time to give you my final thoughts on the 2023 War Stick Warhawk 3. It's kind of a tongue twister. But anyway, so did I like the bat? I did. I did like this. It was super balanced. It felt really good through the zone. It had a lot of bat speed through it. That's just kind of one of the few things I'm gonna say I liked about it. It was super balanced, and I'm a sucker for solid balanced bats. I'm a hit and loaded bats. Um, so this is right up my alley. Now I'm gonna start off the video by saying this. You cannot compare this bat to the Bone Saber, just like you can't compare this bat to the Gunner, you can't compare the Bone Saber to the Gunner, because they're all different bats, built for different kind of hitters. Um, and I think that's what's super unique about Warstick and their lineup of bats is that Ben over there is doing a hell of a job making bats with different kind of hitters. Now, this one and the Bone Saber, I think, could cater to the same kind of hitter, though the Bone Saber may kind of tail off into um, into the more power side of things, just consider with the taper handle, and it is a little, and I, I'm really getting microscopic here, it is a little bit more unloaded. It's minuscule, it's not a huge difference, but you can definitely feel it when you put this one up to the bow and save One piece, the hybrid's not even gonna be in the same boat because these are one piece alloy bats. Now, one of the few things I did like, I'll get to the things I liked about it, things I didn't like. It swings perfectly through the zone. It's super balanced, like I've said, so you should have no issues getting this through the bat. Through the zone, with some good speed, some good power, it's all there. One thing I will know, and this is something that goes into, I think, the price point of the bat, it is on the lower end of their lineup. Now, when I say the lower end, this doesn't take away from the bat. It just doesn't have the same technology and structure and build that the Bone Saber, the Bone Saber Hybrid, the Gunner have. It's just one of those things. It's no different than you look at the Merge series they have. You know, the composite, at, at, I think it's like 450, then they kind of taper back down, the one piece bat being the cheapest. 
Um, that's kind of just how this is. Every bat's going to have one for every hitter, and it also hits every budget, so it's a smart move. It's not taking away from the bat. It's just the structure. It has a little bit of a cheaper cap on it, and it doesn't have the build at the bottom that goes into the function and the functionality of the bone saver. Um, but yeah, guys, so going into the one thing I didn't like, um, the sweet spot is a little bit small, but that goes into the same concept of that it is on the lower end of their of their lineup, not taking away from the bat, because if you do square it and you do square it up, it feels phenomenal, it feels good, ball flies, we're in the mid 90s with it. Even towards the inner half, towards the handle of it, getting jammed, we still saw balls, balls fly. Um, we're hitting balls with a warning track on the inner half of the barrel, which is pretty surprising for the price of this bat at 250. Um, what I didn't like, and you can even see, I wish I could show you guys because it's kind of far, but we were capping balls on the outside to see where, how far we could really muscle some. And that's where I will compare to the Bone Saber, this one segment, because the Bone Saber is strong in the entire barrel of the bat. I mean, you can hit it pretty much anywhere on that Bone Saber and it's gonna fly. This one, I wanna say towards right here, around this area of the barrel, it's, it's not non-existent, it's not dead. It just didn't have the same pop that I've seen other bats have. Not a big deal, because you should be barreling up balls anyway, but that's just how I feel. You know, sometimes you like a little bit of forgiveness, you like a little bit of extra oomph on the, ball, on the bat. When you're swinging, if you're in an 0-2 count, you need to really protect the plate, that can come in handy. This bat just lacked a little bit on that area. It's the, the, the sweet spot's a little bit small. Does that take away from the performance of the bat? Absolutely not. The bat still smacks, still bangs, um, and I'm a sucker for one pieces, so, like I said, War Sticks really killed it. At this point, we reviewed all three of their bats for 2023, and I've loved every single one of them. Of course, every bat's gonna have that one thing, you're just kinda like, man, I really don't like it, but that's just one of the things. No bat's ever gonna be perfect. Um, and if there is, call me, because I need to see it. But yeah, guys, War Stick, Warhawk 3, doesn't disappoint. And that's one of the good things about it, man. It's like, that's what I told a lot of people when we were talking about this bat was that it's good that, you know, War Stick is kind of hitting every budget. You know, they have the, the higher end ones at the 350 plus mark, and then they have this one coming in at 250, which if you don't want to spend that extra 100 bucks or 100 plus on a bat, this is a good alternative. It's the same thing we were saying for the Cat 9 series, guys, especially in this economy and stuff like that. If you can afford to get the high end, awesome bat, go for the bone saver. But if that's something that's kind of tight and you're, you're kind of a player, you're kind of budgeting your dollars, especially older guys, this bat still bangs, man. You can't go wrong with this bat. And uh, like I said, I talked to the guy, I talked to Ben over at War Stick, man. He's doing some awesome things. All the designs on these bat, the paint jobs on these things are phenomenal. Um, but yeah, guys, I really enjoyed this bat. Um, put, a, put a couple out, which is special for me because I don't hit home runs much. Um, but this bat still had a lot of juice. Um, yeah, guys, and if you're interested in picking this one up, the Warhawk, the Warhawk, War Stick, Warhawk 3, my gosh. It's a hell of a name. Um, it's available now at Baseball Express. Just dropped yesterday. Well, today we're recording yesterday. It's coming out on Thursday. Came out on the 24th. Um, so it's brand spanking new. We've got plenty in stock, all sizes. So if you're looking, you want to try it out, Baseball Express has them for 250 bucks. So they're also on War Sticks uh, website for 250 bucks. But we would like it a little bit better if you want from us. Just, just throwing it out there. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. We really appreciate you guys watching the videos. If you haven't checked out our other War Stick 2023 line of videos, um, they should be down below. I'll probably put them in the description so you can kind of link straight to them. But yeah, guys, we got some really good reviews coming up. We actually just got a goods in, so we're going to swing the goods next week. If I can't get it in this week, we actually have our demo day Saturday, so we're going to be pretty tied up doing that. Um, but the minute I get a free second, we're going to be swinging the goods. And then after the goods, we actually finally, and I'm not sure what took us so long to get this back because we reviewed the Eastern Encore Hybrid back in 2022, like fall, like I think it was October, November. Then we did the comp. Now we finally, finally, finally got the, a the Alpha ALX. So we're going to finally do that one and then we're going to compare all three of the Eastern lineups. So plenty, plenty, plenty of content. And then also in the D Marina, we got a CF. I don't know if the CF, I don't know what the number is anymore. I think it's just the CF, the CF, the 2022 CF. We do have still in the wrapper. I need to get that one. And we'll probably swim that one the same day as the goods uh, just to kind of get all that stuff in. And then if you watch this video before Saturday, before the demo day, I may actually get my hands on an Atlas, a two piece goods, and a Voodoo One and a Voodoo One Gold, or Voodoo and a Voodoo One Gold. So I'm not going to say anything to yet. But hopefully we can get those, get some content with those guys at the demo day, get some hit tracks feedback and 
kind of get some more feedback to you guys. But like I said, guys, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate all the support. If you're looking to pick up any of the War Stick 2023 War Stick bats, we have them all at Baseball Express. The Warhawk 3 especially just came out yesterday. So go pick that one up, guys. But yeah, like I said, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you in the next one.